Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today we're on my island, Hobbington, and we're going to be building for Henry today. We are. So I've already moved Henry into place. So he is living here. The last build I think we did on this island was Custo, which is Cheese Frog over here. So yeah, Henry is going to be over here on this side. It's quite a big area. I don't know how much of this we're going to get done today, but I'm going to do my best. Let's just go with it. It is coming towards the end of this island now and I'm really starting to feel it. <laughs> I'm starting to feel the pressure to just, I just kind of want to get it done, you know? I will though, I, ha I have a confession. I do, I have a confession to make. Also, I don't, I don't like that. I already don't like something, so this is going great. I have a little bit of a confession to make. You know, I said I was working on a big project and that I was still working on it and I couldn't get the video out for it and all that stuff. I am not doing that now. <laughs> I'm not. I was basically going to do all the houses, like the interiors of the houses in one big video. And I'm not gonna lie, I got to like the fourth house and I just noped. <laughs> I just noped. I noped out. I couldn't. I don't enjoy doing the interiors on an island. I don't. I hardly ever do them. When I do do them, I have to kind of make myself do them and I never have fun doing it. So I'm not going to do them. I'm not gonna do the interiors now. There's a couple of houses that are done, but one of them is like half done and the other one just didn't get done, so. No interiors. I know some of you were looking forward to it, but I just can't. I can't bring myself to do it. So I'm so sorry, but that's just, that's just how it is. Instead, we're gonna focus on finishing this island. I just wanna get it done now. But anyway, let's do a little bit of a path. We don't need to worry about that. Let's just do this today. We wanna do the exterior. That's all good. I always tell everybody that if you're not happy with doing Doing a certain area on your island like the houses or even the beaches then don't do it don't don't make yourself do it what's the point you know this game is meant to make us all happy it's meant to make us feel you know relaxed and you're supposed to enjoy it and if you're forcing yourself to do the bits that you don't enjoy then what's the point what is the point in doing it you know so like I said, I'm not going to be doing the interiors because I wasn't enjoying them. Enough of the, the negative stuff. Let's talk about the positive things. So with this island, I feel like we're getting there, you know. I'm going to do a few bits off camera, but that's okay, right? That's fine. It's going to be bits like just putting wheat field down. I mean, I'm pretty sure none of you want to see a whole 40 odd minute video of me putting wheat field down or however long it's going to take me. Anyway, let's get this pathway down and then we can start building around Henry's house. I have an idea for this build and I'm actually kind of excited for it it's going to change up for me a little bit so i'm kind of happy with that i think a lot of us are feeling a bit burnt out and unmotivated i think the word that was used was gaming hump which i thought was a great way to describe it you have those weeks where you're just feeling a little bit like you don't know what you want to do. It's the beginning of a new season. It happens. It happens. But I'm here to hopefully spark a little bit of imagination and a little bit of fun into everyone's lives. Well, Animal Crossing lives in this video. I've also been playing other games, so that's been quite nice to do too. Okay, so that path looks kind of cute. I like the broken up paths at the moment. They just seem to be my thing. Now, over here, we also have another incline. I need to bring it to about here, I'd say. Not the incline of course a pathway <laughs> imagine just like stretching the incline across the path that'd be so funny nintendo make it happen in the next game please we want to stretch our inclines these videos have turned into me asking nintendo for certain things and so i'm gonna ask nintendo to let us customize our bridges and our inclines in the next game please otherwise we will riot yep you hear it we will riot. Also the exterior of our buildings not necessarily the villager houses because we can do that we want about nook's cranny let us customize the shops and the museum even if it's just changed the color also i can't wait to set the dream address for this island so that everyone can visit oh my god it'll be so cute okay here's the thing i may not have done the houses for a video if for whatever reason before i set the dream address i decide to do them i'll do them and then i'll show you in the tour but i don't think i can you know for sure say that i'll do it as a video right that looks okay once we put leaf piles and stuff on here which i don't think i have any i think it'll be okay oh, i have lots of trees in my back oh henry 
look at him. Is he up home? I thought he was gonna go to his little house then. I was like, oh, it's so cute. So for Henry, what are we doing? We are going to be putting down some more of that wood code that we have. Uh, this one, I like this one. It's, it's green. It's green and it works. Over here is where we're going to put it. Not too much of a big area. Also, this is very, very strange for me. I am not putting down trees first. Nope, I wanna make sure I have enough space for this so that we know what we can work with and then put trees down around it, which is normally not the way I work. So there's a little bit of this and then I think, Mm, yeah, let's just let's just go for it. Let's just do it. We want to put little patches of our little flower code all the way around. Did I actually say what we were doing? The thumbnail might have said. So hopefully I did write it on the thumbnail. If not, I'm doing a little restaurant slash cafe outside of Henry's house. It's just a cute idea, I think. I could see him running his own little cafe, couldn't you? Also, after we've done this house, it means we only have one more house left to do. And that is it. That's the last sort of build on this island. I was going to do all the beaches, but I think at this moment in time, I don't know how I want to decorate them all. So I might leave it. Like I said, if I have inspiration before I set the dream address to record a video for the beaches, then I, I most certainly will. I most certainly will. But at this moment in time, I just want to do Henry's house. Also, I'm kind of feeling like doing a kick or island, not going to lie it's one of those days right it's it's one of those days where i just want to do everything but <laughs> you know what i mean everything but what i'm supposed to be doing i need to know everyone's actual honest opinion because i know i keep asking this but would you rather see a normcore island or would you rather see kickcore next like be honest it doesn't mean that's deciding my final vote just let me know because i need to know because i need to know what hap what i gotta do when i reset right this is fine it looks weird and i love that it looks weird once we put flowers and furniture on the floor it should hopefully look a lot better right i'm gonna grab some stuff actually no let's let's force a in here oh it's not gonna go is it no i knew it i knew it why was you even trying why there you go it goes there though uh oh yes furniture <laughs> it's like where am i going okay first things first i want to work on this little bit so i have if i can find them i have ranch low boards now i got these because obviously the frogs are quite small and so i thought these were the perfect height and they are green then behind here, I've got store shelves. I don't know if this is going to make it look too much like a shop. To be honest, though, some little cafes, you can buy the food that they, they make or sell there, can't you? You can buy it to take it home. And then also a stonework kitchen. I, look, it kind of works. It's cute. I like it. On here, we're going to get some mush tables. So let's grab those. Okay, so I only have the mush tables at the moment. I do need to grab some mush stalls as well. But look, it's so cute. Oh my gosh, this is hopefully going to look adorable. I don't know if I've got any flies to use to make it look like this is like a fly eating cafe. I might do. Oh no, you can't go there. You're going to have to come over this way just so we can break it up a little bit. Although the green one has to go there anyway. Does it really matter? I don't think so. I think I'm just being super picky. Let's put you in. Oh my gosh, this looks so silly. I love it. I like that it's not, you know, distinctly on the bits of flower we'll move them around as we place the stores down because i feel like these can't stay like this this close you know i feel like it needs a bit more space okay we want to put the hedging across here can it not go any closer oh it can i was just missing the line <laughs> i was just missing it right let's put all the hedging across like so it helps fill in the gap you know because you're not really gonna see behind there why not just fill it with fences i think i say that more Often than not now. I'm just like, just fill it with fences. It will do. And then I also have the vertical board fence. And I have this in both green and yellow. Because I'm going to alternate it. Oh no, am I not going to be able to... Oh right, hang on. Let me see if I can put a piece in like this. I can. Okay, that's good. And there we go. We can finally stick a tree here. Perfect. Okay, we can also stick some more trees back in. I don't have a lot of trees on me, so I am going to have to go get some more in a minute because I need a little bit more height going on. But it's fine. As long as we get the little bits of basics going. Oh, this looks cute so far. Okay, I'm really happy with this. It's coming out cute. I need to continue the pathway though. So let's continue our pathway. Honestly, it does It does get tiring. <laughs> it gets tiring when the pathway doesn't go where you want it to go. I know it's my own fault for not paying attention, but you can't blame yourself always right i blame this game 
Oh, I think here we're just going to use our imagination. And we're just going to put this. I have not used this a lot. And I don't know why. I guess I just forget. It looks different, right? It adds a little bit of character. Now, what we want to do is go and get the stools. And I also need some more trees. I don't know if this is enough for the tables, but we'll soon find out. I did. Yes, I did pick up flies. Oh my gosh, why not, right? It just, it looks like they're going to eat them, which is what frogs would do anyway. Also, some jarred bamboo because, oh, wow. Why doesn't it go right on? I don't like that it was right on the side. Hang on, let's try again. There you go, because who doesn't want jarred? I was going to say jabbed. Who doesn't want jarred bamboo with their lunch? <laughs> right, mush low stalk. They are all the same color, by the way, because you can't actually get these in the greeny color. They do come in sort of a brownie color, which I guess I could have used. I think that's the variation that's supposed to match these. I just, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. Oh, I need flowers as well. Oh my gosh. Let's push you up and then let's add some more stalk. We don't want to block it in too much, but I also want to fill it out so it doesn't feel so empty. Also, I don't really mind what's on these tables, if I'm being honest, as long as it looks cute. You know, who doesn't want organic bread with their flies? There you go. <laughs> It looks so silly and ridiculous. Also, I don't think I'm going to use all these stalls. They're going to take up too much space. I think I want to spend most of this with flowers. Spend? I want to put down mostly flowers. Right, so where do we think we need a tree? Maybe here? I think we need a tree there and probably a tree here too. I'm going to go with the hardwood still. I just, I like the hardwood trees. They're my favorite tree. Actually, everyone let me know. What's your favorite tree? Oh dear. It's two cedars. It's fine. <laughs> it is okay. But everyone, let me know your favorite tree down below. Which one's your favorite and which season of tree is your favorite? Look at that. We've already filled that out and it looks like a little forest behind. It's so cute. All right, now we need to work on the actual floor area. Don't worry. Of course, we're going to do some more decorating here because we've got to do these counts and everything. I just want to get kind of the bushes and the flowers down now because it's important. Although I realize I don't have any weeds on me so I'm gonna have to quickly grab some weeds. We've been decorating with those quite a lot. The weeds just kind of add something else other than a code and a flower obviously. It's like the most obvious thing I've said. Oh, puddles. I can't resist a little puddle. I feel like a staple code is a puddle code now for me. I love them so much. Also, we want to put quite a few flowers around just because it's spring court. It's meant to be full of flowers. Honestly, when in doubt, flowers. Oh, no. Don't stick them in the wrong place, though, because you have to dig them up. <laughs> I wanted it to go here. I don't know why I thought it would go in the right place. It never does. Okay, we want to put a little bush here, too. And, yeah, I'm just going to basically fill all this out. Also, I still have to do some areas, like, down here and on the lily pads. I've still got quite a bit to do. A lot of that is going to just be trees and bushes, though, if I'm being honest. Because, like I said, I ran out of ideas for this island when I realized that I didn't have as much space as I was hoping for. But that's okay okay it's fine you know we'll make do i'm still gonna finish it for everybody i know everyone loves this island some of you say it's your favorite which oh thank you so much for saying thank you for that i think my favorite island will always and still always be sunflower until maybe i redo something similar to that one in the future who knows who knows what the future holds for island themes also i'm obsessed with these puddles i can't stop putting them everywhere oh along here we could do maybe the planks oh actually no i'm just gonna stick this it just makes it look a little bit more tidier right like, like this and then can i stick one of these in the middle oh yes it went where i wanted it to go i'm so happy it did that sometimes this game doesn't always do as it's told also i think i'm gonna let the weeds grow in it just makes everything feel a little bit more i'm gonna say the word again natural <laughs> I always use the word natural because it's true. That's what I like. It's what I'm liking for this island, the natural side of it. It's coming out kind of cute. I like it. I'm liking it more than I did a couple of weeks ago. I feel like taking a little bit of a break from it and just doing like the smaller areas definitely helped. So I'm glad I did that. So if you're feeling a little bit of a struggle, but you don't want to delete your island, definitely just take a break. Oh, this looks so cute. Okay, I'm happy with all the flowers. I don't think we need any more flowers over there. So that's good. Let's now work on on you know decorating this bit because we need a little bit of decoration okay so whatever we're putting on here isn't gonna make a hundred percent sense but we're fine with that we've got a turkey casserole dish maybe someone's got flies in there um i also have to go on here jarred mushrooms i thought you know it looks like they're gonna be used for cooking the portable record player which also looks like a little bit of a till because i don't have one and i'm not gonna go back to a treasure island just to get one a fruit basket although i think i want to move it around the other way so i want it this way like that 
Yeah, that's better. And then maybe on here as well, a classic picture. Yeah, so this is the fruit juice part. And this is the bit where you pay and pick up your food. Over here, we're going to stick in some more weeds. Also, I might stick a little code here on the floor. I really like this one. I like these little subtle stones. I don't know what it is about them, but I do. I also have a bamboo shoot lamp for Henry's yard. Although it hasn't gone exactly where I wanted it. Let's try again. There we go. You know, it's not too much then, you know, it's not too much in your face. We need to get rid of these because now I need to decorate this section. And so, oh dear, I didn't want to put the tree there, but oh well, it works. <laughs> I think I'm going to put a little bit of a grass moment. I always call this grass. It's flowers, it's grass. I guess it doesn't matter. I can call it both. And there we go. Let's whack in our last push. Our last push. I'm going to have to get some more. It didn't even go where I wanted it to go. Also, if you have a frog on your island, who is it? And have you built them a cute little yard yet? What have you done for them? What does their yard look like? Tell me everything. I want to know about your frog villages. I think here we might do fencing. I need to put my stuff back down though. Also, when you get towards the end of doing your island, it's always a struggle to figure out where to put your storage. You kind of just got to slam it down anywhere. <laughs> it was like, where am I supposed to put it? Don't know. I have to just carry it around. I mean, I still have some space on a beach, but it's just like, you know, that's not convenient because it's too far away from where I'm actually building. Of course, I still got to get down there, but we'll worry about that when I go to do it. <laughs> It's not today's worry. Right, I want to stick a swinging bench in here because I think it would just be really cute. I'm sure Henry will use it as well. There you go. Oh, that's so adorable. Of course, I need more flowers, but we can worry about that in just a bit. I want to decorate this area, but I don't just... Oh my gosh, it won't fit. I don't just want to fill it all with trees. So I'm thinking what we could do is add a bunch of these mush partitions... Not partitions. Mush parasols, even though I can't get them to fit properly. We'll add a bunch of these everywhere and then it will kind of look like a little mush forest although that's in line with that one i'm not gonna like that right, let's get back through can i stick a tree in here no no tree okay what is this disrespect that i'm getting this this space look oh it's too close to the bridge huh fine fine we'll move everything down by one right, let's put this back down there we go. Obviously, it's not going to stay like this. I want to leave this little bit kind of treeless because I want to have that as a view. I do want to stick a tree here, though. I have a bad habit of blocking things with trees, so I have to be careful. <laughs> okay, so this is all looking cute. I have a lamp. I did pick up a lamp. Here it is, mush lamp. How cute is that? I might get another one and stick it here. Okay, this is looking adorable. I'm happy with it. Oh, you know what we don't have in this build yet? Our big puddle. We haven't used the big one. I love this. This is going to help with the dream dress. Also, by the way, I think I've decided. I have. I truly have decided how we're going to have the dream dress. We're well, definitely going to have it when it's like kind of just stopping raining. So you know what I did for puddle? A bit like that. I think I have a date in mind. I might have to go check my older videos to see what the date would be. But right, I'm going to quickly fill all this in with flowers and weeds and stuff. Off. actually no let's go over to this bit first let's go finish this this is going to be a challenge it is because we don't have a lot of stuff left oh we could do a little picnic i guess although we've done picnics mm, i'm trying to think what else we could do maybe we could put these little tiles down and maybe i could make like a little post office area but not a post office just an area where you can post your post <laughs> post letters i think that's what i'm trying to say not post your post post your post sounds a little bit weird right i desperately need some more flowers i'm gonna see what i've got left on my beach i only had like four flowers left on my beach it's so devastating so sad i'm gonna have to go get some more this is the only problem when you do these more natural islands you feel like you use so many flowers up and it makes you so mad right anyway we're just gonna leave that for now let's work on our decorating this bit i'm going to add another layer i think yes another layer here here i ran off to try and find my storage and then remembered it's in my pocket <laughs> i'm not the only one right i'm not the only one who does that i actually have this really cute code that i've just put on some scattered papers it's little frog in which unfortunately i haven't got to use you know like i was saying the shape of this island was really hard to deal with because obviously the lily pads which i absolutely love the lily pads i have no regrets of doing them but it was just made it really difficult to build areas that i really wanted to do on this island i wanted to make this a proper frog town and it never happened but you know i'm not mad i'm still happy with how it has come out i just you know when you just had other ideas it's okay though it's fine 
Right, there's those, but I can use them on these scattered papers so it looks like little leaflets. How stinking cute, right? Okay, I love this. I do need to, however, go and get a bunch of flowers, fill all this area out, and then we can finish off decorating. So I will be right back because it's probably going to take me a little while to do. Okay, so behind here, I thought we need something. So we're going to stick some vertical board fence. And then, of course, fill it out with bushes. I did go and get a bunch of flowers, but as you can see, I've already used them all. I'm using using so many flowers it's ridiculous like please let's put that along there and then i think we could probably stick another bush in just to kind of finish the area off and then another little flower and it looks kind of cute right it's kind of cute also i thought to fill in some of the gaps because we just we're just stuck we just don't know what else to put anywhere i thought we put some mush paracels let's add another bush in somehow somewhere also i'm gonna need more and more flowers believe it or not more flowers yes also so we're not just sticking the same things down every time i've got some mush low stores which just looks like this is where maybe henry got his stall for his little restaurant or his little inn whatever we're calling it also a scooter I don't know why, but Henry, Henry's got a scooter he parks out back here. I think now all that's left to do with this is to fill this area with flowers and bushes. And then we should be done. Although I might stick another tree in. I think another tree would do us good. Yeah, see, that looks so much better. It just kind of brings everything in all together then. Actually, do you know what? You know what we need here? I can't resist. If it's going to be raining, it doesn't matter, right? The more puddles, the better. This is definitely making me miss puddle, my island puddle. I'd love to do another rainy day island, and this is going to be it. Right, let's do another puddle quickly, the little puddle. I love how I'm like, quickly, quickly, quickly. No, it's not quickly. It's not raining yet, so doesn't matter let's stick another one over here like so and then put another puddle down and then i can just fill the rest of the area with flowers and it will look oh so pretty so yeah let's do the flower placing and then we'll be done okay so i quickly finished off the build so let's do a quick look around so you can come over this bridge you get a lovely view of a lily pad that is tad's house and then if you come down here to henry's yard we've got a lovely little walkway it's an okay transition you know we're, we're making do with the space that we have and you'll get to henry's house which his house actually looks kind of cute i might even keep it this color like i was saying earlier i have done happy home paradise and i was doing the interiors but i wasn't enjoying it so i don't know if i'll go back to it or not i'm not sure but for now i will be doing the exteriors and i think his house already works perfectly now over here is his little restaurant anyway you can get a little bit of this whatever's in here some flies to go whatever you like and he's got these cute little mush tables with the little mush stools it just came out really cute i like it i think it's adorable for henry back here is his little scooter which he just parks here you know, where else is he meant to park it? And then back here is the little mailbox section, which it's just a little filler, you know? We're running out of space. We gotta do what we gotta do. And yeah, I think I kind of like this little mailbox area. Anyway, overall, I'm happy with today's build. Anyway, so there we have it. We finished today's build. I hope you all enjoyed it. I did, I had fun. We're so close to finishing. I can't believe it. Anyway, if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Come join the Jellybean family. Have the loveliest days, and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye.